Hello, hello there everybody, and today I am back with some good old, uh, you know, nearly midnight from the depths. I can find it here, I have like a special streaming tab for every single game. I loaded in instantly, cool. Let me uh, go see my chat here so I can actually talk to people, and let me also move stuff, get my images sorted out. I probably did not prepare well enough for the stream, and I realized that, like, just before, um, you know, I was starting, like, oh, hey, I don't have my reference images in the right location. So, yes, it's time to start, and it's time to go back to that cruiser until 40 p.m. for you. Yeah, it's 11.40 here. Um, it's very late. I was honestly really debating streaming. Um, I was going to earlier today, and then I didn't. And now it's like, eh, maybe. And now I'm like, okay, you know what? I've already committed. It was like I was sending out the messages, and at the same time being like, I'm not sure if I want to do this or not. But, you know, I'm doing it. Too late now. I'm only planning to go for, you know, maybe two, three hours this time, rather than, you know, the nearly five I did last time. Well, you know, that'll be fine. I just wait for the game to load and I can get this uh, cruiser built. A little superstructure done. I guess I'll be looking at Discord in the meantime. Whatever. Okay, come on, from the depths you can load. Like, part of me is like, I should probably be preloading these games, and part of me is like, I want to uh, show the forward screen so you can see the full beauty of a Mugus Extra Sus before I uh, enter the game. The 112 operator campaign is the same for every city. Uh, what game is that? One one two operator. All right, we're in. Okay, cool. Listening. I just had like a full thing of lemonade or of a strawberry lemonade, trying to uh keep myself awake for this, and now my stomach's not doing great. I am not in the best of shape today. But anyway, yes, yeah, so we're gonna load up Montreal again. 1112 is the European version, 911 number, okay. So this is what I had last time, and I think I'm gonna keep working with it. Uh, there's part of me which is considering shortening the ship slightly. Which would involve probably going here, cutting it in half, um, and removing like four to eight blocks and then putting it back together. There's part of me which wants to do that and part of me which doesn't. It's about, it's slightly smaller than a county right now, but only very slightly. So, yeah. Hold on, I still need to move something from one tab to another. There we go. How big is the county again? I need to real quickly double check. Uh, county class cruiser is 190 overall. So this is about the same size as the county. The question is, you know, the counties were uh, 14,000 tons full load, but 10,400 standard. So the question is, do I go with full tonnage or standard tonnage for the Rule of Waves 2 number? Because you can see that the, what I'm working with in the uh, top right corner is, uh, what, 10,400 tons. The exact same tonnage as a county. But, um, you know, even if it's the same tonnage as a county, it's, uh, you know... That's the same tonnage as the county at standard, it's not the same tonnage as the county at full. 
So there's certainly a thought that the ship might actually realistically be more about the size of a York. But I think I'm going to stick to the county-sized cruiser now. So I was working on the uh, superstructure here last time. Or particularly the forward bits of it. Let me bring up my reference image on my other screen. There we go. So I'm trying to figure out how to kind of get its shape correct. Because it looks like I kind of built it... Oh, I'm not sure this is like the correct shape. I kind of like the look of how this is going. But it does extend out over the turret. Well, in the game, I didn't have it do that. And in the game, it kind of went out like this more. But it should be noted... Maybe what I need to do is... Here's what I need to do. This section right here needs to be extended backwards. Simply put. This probably needs to be extended close to the... Uh, probably about here. Probably about here, I th I'm thinking. So that was... uh. Second game and the first game being 9-11 operator. Okay, so you just figured out all missions in the campaign are identical. I guess that's a uh, oof. Okay, so we do this. I'd get rid of you. As this would more closely resemble the model, it won't be perfect, but it'll more closely resemble it. And what I could also do is I could swap this instead of a 2 meter slope here to like a 3 meter slope. Which I think I'm going to do. And just see how it pans out. Alright, three meter slope time. Let's go. Okay, so get rid of those. Get rid of you. Oh, hey, it's moving. Uh, that's probably not good. I probably don't want this ship to actually, you know, move. Not right now. You know, I would rather have it stationary while I'm working on it, but, you know, the AI has decided that, hey, it's just going to start driving the ship around. Great. Great job, AI. Listening. Off. Turn the movement off. I don't want you moving around. All right, so this would actually be where the superstructure would be, or would be built. Um, but I do... Like, I know how I have it shaped in-game, um, but I probably do want to shape it, like, slightly differently for the uh, IRL model. Which is what this is, so. Okay, so we do this, and then we do this. Cool. Vintage is the base uh, structure of a warship inspired by an Austro-Hungarian ironclad. You're too impatient to name again. You need to rebuild the main gun Tetris later because you were focused on immediate damage rather than rate of fire at the time of construction. Okay. Uh, I guess that's cool. Um, got any... I would say got any pictures. Yeah, I mean, you can share them, I suppose. I don't think I have anything preventing link sharing, so if you, like, upload them to Imgur or something, you could probably just show them or put them on Discord somewhere and then link the Discord links. As long as you're not inappropriate with that stuff. Because if you are, I am going to have to moderate you. Uh, but, you know, I'm trusting if you're sharing, like, a ship thing, that's fine. You know. I don't, I don't, I think link sharing is permitted in my chat at the moment. Hold on, uh, I have to tell someone something. Alright, there we go. Anyway, yes, we gotta get the superstructure done. 
so... I can start with something like this. Kind of create this uh, flat area up here. You know what? I see... I know I see what I have modeled on there is something probably a little different than this. Um, I can take a look at a Hawkins class cruiser though, and then just kind of try to figure out what those superstructures look like a little more. Because I imagine this would be almost like a cross between a Hawkins and a county. In terms of look. But even so, I probably do want to try to mimic the actual uh, top-down superstructure layout. Which means I'm probably going to get rid of what I have here. Here's what I do is I might save what I have here, just in case. Just in case I want it again. Um, save as that in progress, uh, cruiser superstructure. All right, so we can do this. Ooh, what should I come up? With? Okay, so we gotta get the shape right. We gotta get the shaping right. You know, let's start building it here. And I'm just going to I'm just going to try something with this. Let me actually uh warp onto the ship. Hey, I actually warp like amidships for once. I finally I'm finally actually warping to a location on a ship when I spawn on it. I've had so many issues with some of my uh, other ships where what winds up happening is for some reason when I warp to it my character winds up warping like here. I just realized I forgot to do something. Let's fix this real quickly. So, here we need two fixes. Or, not two fix. Well, yeah, we do need two fixes. But, you know. What am I trying to say? I don't know. We need to fix this. Anyways, yes. We can do this with four parts. Normally, these would be mimics, but I can swap them to decorations. And we're going to need alloy wedge. I'm going to need a back 4 meter, and I'm going to need a front 4 meter. So now I have those two uh, as options. I will start with the back. I will pitch it downwards. This one will be color... I'll bring it to zero. This one will be color 2. Uh, move it up. Up by two blocks. Backward positioning. And then our left-right scaling will be 1.01. 1. 1. 1. 1. Am I right on this? No, I'm not. Oh, I know I'm not right. The forward-backwards positioning is bad. Okay, so forward-backwards scaling doesn't need to be adjusted. Up-down scaling, uh, left-right scaling is the only one which needs to be adjusted. Okay, so copy that, add a new decoration, paste it in, swap it to the wedge front, move it forward, 0.75, cool. We do have a little bit of an issue here, but we're going to need an additional uh, square for that. Add new decoration, uh, paste color should be 3, uh, actually you know what? I'm going to add an additional zero here. I'm going to add an additional zero here. And I'm going to add an additional zero here, but this one is going to change to a two. Ah, uh, you know what? No, no additional zero. And now you are going to move up to here. And then we're going to move you forward to here. Ah, almost.
Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to fix something very, very, very slightly. Alright. Copy. Add decoration. Paste. Uh, LA Wedge front. Forward backward positioning one. I'm gonna paste it again. And this time I'm gonna go with an alloy beam. But I'm also gonna need to get an alloy block. For later. Wait, no. Ah, shit, I, I didn't copy, or I didn't add a new decoration. Okay, so now we paste, now we switch to a beam. Uh, now we go backward by one. Okay, now we go to this part again, and we add a new decoration, we paste it in. We switch it to a lightweight alloy block, we switch the color to 2, move, our, move it down to negative 1, and move it back 0.75. And look at that! Just like that, our bow is fixed. I'll save it as Montreal, especially given that I have the other superstructure in. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, let's try rotating this. I want to see if there's any clipping. You know what? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. That's doable. Like, if we bring the guns this way, there's... Wait, what? Um... Okay. That's apparently allowed. Good job from the depths. Good job. Uh, anyway, yes, so we can go with this sort of, uh, shape. And I'd probably go back like this with it, roughly. I'm gonna get rid of these guys, because I might replace them with, uh, four meter beams. Um, and I think this would go out to here before going back. Like that, and then probably get closed off. Ah, uh, slightly further back than that. Maybe about here-ish. So it would get closed off here, but the... Uh... The mast is gonna go through this part. Okay, so... That's kind of that layer. Trying to think how how I would do the rest of this. Because I see where the mast is, and I see kind of where the bridge wings are. But the bridge wings are going to be probably above all of this. So I probably need to make this like one block taller. Yeah, I think I do. And if we're doing that, then I'm doing this to make things easier on me. Okay, there we go. This is our first uh, block. Okay, so our bridge wings would start to extend out from here. And then probably use alloy plates for this, or I use mimics. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to be a Mimic Heathen. It's, uh, it's Mimic Heathen time. Because I want this to be a little bit thicker than a plate. Lack of sleep is catching up to you. Oh, it's catching up to me too. I should not be streaming right now. Yeah, it's Mimic Heathen time. Okay, so that's the previous prefab I had. I think I saved it already. Just in case I wanted to reuse it again. But it's looking like I'm not going to want to reuse it here. So... Realistically, you'd probably go about... Four back, it looks like. Am I 
right on that? I think three backs better. Looking at it now. So that would go out to about there, I think. Oh, hey. I need to uh, make that one the same type. Actually, you know I'll get rid of that piece. Yeah, okay, I think that looks fairly like what I had going in mind. Okay, so if I just kind of filled this in for now, I might replace this with a uh, actual decking later on. And what we wind up having is... Actually, this might be... You know what I think this is? I, I think I've spotted my issue with this. This. This shouldn't be this wide. I mean, the proportions just aren't going to be exact at all. So, I'm actually going to move it back one block here. Okay, I think these this is going to look a little better. Oh, don't do that. Okay. So I'll start with this, then add you you guys back in. All right, good night, Sams. Have a good one. Have a good rest. too far forward what I have I might just leave this as is, is this would probably be like a fairly reasonable representation of it even if the dimensions aren't exactly uh, correct so what would we work on or what would I work on next well this would be built out like so and then here would be where the windows go This would have some plates going out to the side like that. Alright, so now we have to get the windows in. You know who has windows I can use? Uh, I'm going to get St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence has windows I can use. Do not move on me. Man, look at St. Lawrence compared to this thing. Alright, prefab. Uh, length, 2 meters. Grab these windows and hope hope that they copy over successfully to the other side because this is like a 50-50 gamble. They won't. They won't. All right. Got to grab both sets then. Rather rather than do some weird reverse trick, it's probably just easier for me to go, hey, um, St. Lawrence, you have these windows over here too. Uh, they're mine now. And now they're going to go in here. And then I can grab uh, St. Lawrence's you know, forward windows like this. And actually, I think I accidentally managed to grab another part. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that would be about what... You know, I'm probably... 
or I was probably concepting the ship to look like. Now, another thing which St. Lawrence has is this weird setup down here. I think I can get this in, but I am probably going to need a good fix on that. In this aft window here. Alright, so now I'm going to take this, copy it over here, paste it over here, uh, reverse the yaw, reverse this, we're good. Take you, roll you around, and reverse maybe the up-down, yes. And that worked pretty successfully at uh, what it was trying to achieve, so that's good. So I'm going to take some alloy plates, uh, stick them in back here. Looks good so far, thanks. Actually, it should, should be slightly inward sloped like this. Not looking good enough. my vision is not quite I think I need to these need to be sloped less uh, thankfully there are parts I can grab from St. Lawrence to help out with that more specifically uh, right here all right so let's just place it down and then you know make sure it's up down positioning is zero now that we have it, pick it up, move it here, move it. You know what? If I do this, that'll work, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we do this, and then. I think we gotta adjust the left right s no. This scaling. Now we take this, duplicate it there, flip it around this way, duplicate it twice. Take a mimic, put it there, uh set all these to zero. Uh, alloy. Actually, no. Let's just type in door. Wait, why am I typing it in? Why do I need a mimic here? That works perfectly. Plans of a new Rule of Waves 2 series. I need to get the Italian one done still. Um, I do intend on doing that at some point. It's just I've not been feeling, you know, Rule of Waves 2 right now. Now I actually have a couple of options here, and I'm going to go with the more interesting one. I think. Because so I was originally going to do like a slope sort of thing up here, but I just... I'm not feeling it. And I think what I need to actually do is... I need to go for like an outcrop, like this. Okay. So thankfully we do have a couple parts we can grab right here. Instead of uh, being up like that, I need it down. Why don't I just flip it then? There we go. Take the pre take the prefab here. Move it here. Uh, alloy train. Yeah, we didn't finish the Italian campaign. It's not done yet. All right, switch the yaw around. Okay, now we have two things we can use. Finish it on the stream I missed. Nope, I just haven't finished it. 
you can actually find all the whole series archived on YouTube and see that I just have not finished that campaign. I'm just, I've not been feeling it recently, unfortunately. But here's what we do, is if we do this, and then that, that'll work. All right, so now we are actually probably gonna need mimics back here. Okay, so we can take this, move it around, do that. And then what we do is we do our forward backward scaling down to 0.5 and our forward backwards positioning there. And I think it's just gonna be easier if I duplicate this piece and make the same changes. All right. Uh, should have worked, right? Colored with paint five. Why are you colored with paint five? And uh, thank you, whoever that was, for the follow. Let me hold on. Let me quickly check. Uh, Tebitmo, thank you for the follow, and welcome to the nameless follower group thingy. You're not with DLC soon. Yes, they are. Well, it's sometime in the nondescript future, but yes, they are. And I will I will be looking forward to playing that, I know. Wait, what? It, it just... Free paint. What? Those two are glitching on me? They're not really two. Uh, from the depths, are you glitching on me? Uh, okay, point 0.5, uh, let's see, I need this scaling to be about 5, I do just this back, about there, alright, so let's see if this is, yeah, that's weird, because those are not painted correctly. Why are you painted? That's color five you're painted with, not three. Uh, what do you have a question about? Resay Montreal. Right. Let's kind of get this sort of superstructure here going. Well, that's annoying. <clears throat> Actually, we're going to need a staircase up here, so let's get that in. Uh, stairs. I can do this. Okay, you know what? Let's prefab this piece, move it down. Yeah, okay, that fixed it, so... Stream is no longer working for you. That's odd. I'm not seeing any, like, loss of frames or anything, so... Have you built an ocean crawler or a vehicle that sits on the bottom of the floor? No, I have not. Why? Why? Are you... How do you... How is this piece repainting itself? What? The fuck? Seriously, what is going on here? Alright, put that in. It's Friday. It's Saturday. Is it... Yeah, it's Saturday for me now. So... Okay, let's try this. There we go. Now they're the correct color for a second. Oh, it's like your friend. Friday. I don't know, I think that one landed flat. Uh, anyway, okay, so forward backward scaling, go back down to one. Uh, forward backward positioning. Move over. Oh, crap, it went... Yeah, okay, these, those pieces are, are recoloring themselves for some reason. Let's just... 
save the vehicle. In Montreal, I'm going to pull you out of play and put you back into play. Oh, yeah, it's you. Oh, hello. I didn't realize that was your Twitch username. Ah, shit, yeah, sorry, I was being stupid. Uh, you can tell that I am tired right now. And why are these recoloring? You're supposed to be color three. Now act like it. Ah, uh, that's how my From the Depths is going today. All right, let me grab a, uh, one of these guys here from St. Lawrence. Where did I place this piece? Oh, there. Shit, I have all of them is too high. I gotta have some single high ones. Yes, I do, back there. Cool. I'm gonna have to place some up top now. So up, down, positioning should be there. Should I use decorations? Ah, uh, I think this is fine for now. Using mimics on this. Just do this, change that to a negative one. I mean, at least the mimics will appear to be damaged when shot and such, so... Oh, I'm sticking to them. For the moment. No, for the color problem. Oh, eh, yeah, maybe. May not be that bad of an idea. Because that's a weird issue to be having. Alright, I'm going to need a mimic for that. And decorations won't have the problem. Maybe. Maybe it's just something where if I reload the boat, it will suddenly start working. Oh, there's not a mimic here. That works perfectly. There is one here, though, so... That's just, yeah, that's just the old piece resting there. All right, so what we need to do is we need to turn the forward backward scaling down to 2 point, or 0 0.25, but we need to turn the up down scaling to 1. Then we need to adjust our positioning downwards by 1, and then we need to adjust our sideways positioning to 0. And now that piece is fixed, and now what I can do is I can prefab this piece, move it here, turn it into a normal alloy plate, Roll it to nothing. Uh, that didn't work. Alright, do that, and then yaw it over to negative 90. Press Q on a Mimic 2 to change it to decoration. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can just do that. Forward backward scaling to 1. Uh, forward backward positioning to 0.5. And, hold on, hasn't worked with that other section. Okay, let me fix this. Ah, uh, work well enough. Slightly thinner, but yeah. Alright, let's see. Hello there. Change decoration. It does seem to have fixed it. And then, tether point down. Save to reapply connection. Wait, what? I moved your tether point down. Oh, it didn't work. Is that here? Uh, try down again. No, maybe, uh, left. Left and up. There you go, that's a good, that's a better tether point. And that actually fixed, um, both it looks like, so I'm just gonna leave that as is. Let's see, is this actually, like, I know actually accessing this isn't going to be traversable just due to how I have those set up. Hey, I can fall into the bridge from here. Cool. So that'll work. Uh, yeah, that'll work particularly well. Alright, but I am probably going to want to build a little bit of superstructure on top of this, too. Just to kind of mess with the profile a little bit. 
and I'll think about how I want to uh, do stuff here. So we're going to start putting the mast in here relatively soon. Uh, if I start looking at like the mast on, say, a county or York or something. Okay, so... Actually, if we're using like a Hawkins-type mast, those had a uh, tripod. So I might as well try to use the tripod-style mast. Here, like a built-up tripod is what I'm thinking. But we can probably get away with just using normal poles like this for the forward part of the, or the that part of the tripod mast. And then Uh sure that's okay, but it would take a tiny bit to look at it. All right. So in terms of actually grabbing a tripod mast, I'm probably not going to grab one from St. Lawrence specifically for pieces, but I am going to grab one from Alberta. And now I'm going to have two battleships and a heavy cruiser loaded in all at the same time while streaming. Come on, PC, do not die on me. So you're doing pretty well. You know, collision physics aren't... A collision physics aren't currently being enacted, so that's probably why it's doing well for the moment. Wow, this ship's like as long as Alberta. Or longer than Alberta is. But you know, Alberta's a lot better armed, so... Look at the gun turrets, they aren't that different in size. These eight-inch gun turrets are actually kind of big. Compared to Alberta's uh, 13 inches. Of course, St. Lawrence's uh, 16 inches, or 16 inch triples just do kind of wreck them all. Alright, so the part I wanted to grab from Alberta here is. Actually, Bottoms the tripod mass, which actually you know what they are the same as St. Lawrence. So let's just grab the ones from St. Lawrence. Fuck it. Okay. Width two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should get it. Got it. Nope, I looked right past to Alberta. All right, so let's stick them. Let's start by sticking them back here. Start by rotating around and sticking them back here. Let's unmirror everything and stick them back here. Delete those. Okay, you sent it. Oh, I see the message. Ah, uh, let me see. Oh, that's actually that's actually looking pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Uh, the only tip I would have is try to move the turrets forward. The two forward turrets. Try to get them closer to the bow. That would probably be my only tip on trying to uh, get that to look good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to adjust the uh, sideways scaling to 0.75, and we are going to need to change probably the pitch of these. I'll do 65 degrees of pitch, and then I'm going to mess with the yaw, which looks to be about Maybe not 30. Let's try 32. One. I think 31 will work. If I undo some of my pitch. I'll change my pitch to 70. Okay, take that. Paste it over there. And change our yaw to negative 31. And... I think we need to adjust our, you know, our left-right positioning is fine. So I think that's identical. Yes, yes, there we go. We got a tripod mast in. All right, so now we have a mast to start building up around. And, you know, last time I had a mast to start building up around, this is what happened. So I don't know if you want to count that as a good or a bad thing, but yeah, that was a thing. Did you have much Citadel, or not Citadel, uh, Conning Tower armor did you have? Six inches. So I guess there is technically a little bit of an armored Conning Tower somewhere in here. Is that... I mean, if you're looking at a cruiser... You're pretty bridge clutter. Thanks. We're looking at a, like... Cruiser or something. There is actually 
a bit of an area where that would be. So I might actually, yeah, I'm going to have to elevate this. So I'm going to have to take everything I have here right now and just do this all. Height, width, uh, height, one more. So we're going to take this. And I'm probably going to move it up two blocks. To about there. Yes. So, just let's real quickly save this. I'll just add a two because it is technically the same thing. And now, go ahead and delete everything. There are probably some changes I'm going to have to make just to get this back, but... Oh, well. Alright, so then you are tethered here. Delete all untethered un decorations. Yes, I want that deleted. I want you deleted. I'm going to go back into prefab mode. Take you. You were normally on this level, so now you're going to be here. Undo the mirror. There we go. Looks like on how it'll be... On how long it'll be until episode 7. I honestly don't know at this point. I know I want to continue the series, but right now I've just not been feeling trying to build the uh, home area. I want to be able to build ships, and I want to be able to build good-looking ships and not... Uh, you know, super combat effective ships in a short length of time. I guess I'm going through kind of a creative, uh, a want to be creative right now, rather than a want to desperately see combat. So I'm taking a short break from the series. And these short breaks usually unfortunately become long breaks. Hopefully that won't be the case. It probably will be, but yeah, that's the current state of stuff. I will try to get back to it. Though. Like, I still have intentions on continuing with even my Planet Coaster and World of Waves 2 series. And those haven't seen an update in, you know, months at this point. But they're not cancelled, they're just postponed. I hope you wouldn't build a combat effect in this. Ah! Possible. I mean, part of it is I kind of wanted to build everything in that campaign on my own. And some of the super gun turrets I'm not as much of a fan of. Alright, so... Ooh, how do I want to do this? Okay, so now we actually are simulating a bit of a conning tower here. Where the conning tower would be here, and then the actual bridge is above that. We still have the same top-down look that we previously did, which is good. Build other types of eagle plane spaceships, etc. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely a boat builder in this game. To focus on looking nice if someone else will help. Yeah, it would. Um, I think part of part of what I need would be sea whiz weapons, but right now. Uh, the big hurdle I need to take is a desire to build buildings, and that's gonna be... That, that's gonna be a little rougher of a hurdle to overcome. Because I currently don't have a desire to build buildings. And dry docks and such, and I need to. Okay. There's some weird color issues here. Okay, so decoration is here. Your color three. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go to this. 
need some dry docks and such. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe that would be an option. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly adjust the this positioning. Actually, not that positioning. There you go. We stopped it. And if I want it on top, we do that. Building, building, building giant mobile amphibious bases. I suppose that one might actually be the correct color right now. Tried. Alright, I will convert this one to a decoration and down and not left, right. That should fix everything there. Yes, that's good. So I will start with uh, this little bit up here. Should be our little, uh, what is this? What is this called? I'm trying to remember. A little crow's nest, kind of like the one up here. Because if we look at a Hawkins class cruiser, it did have something similar to this. All right, reply connection rules. Okay, so I'm just trying to think. If I'm building this crow's nest, do I want to build it any further forward or backwards, or do I want to leave it as is? It would be a nice little crow's nest as is, but I could build it slightly out. I kind of want to build it slightly out. But I have an idea. Here's how we build it slightly out. All right, now I need windows. Actually, I would say now I need windows. Um, would you look at that? Okay, I'll delete those two blocks and instead place down an alloy plate. Oh wait, we can't, um, that won't work. I was really confident that was going to work. We can just do that, though. Okay, so now what we need is... I need an alloy slope. Alloy slope, one meter. Okay, so I want the forward-backward scaling down. And then I want probably the yod to 90 degrees. Is it forward, backward? No, it's going to be left, right. And this is probably not going to be a piece I can duplicate, correct? Easily? Nope. So, hello there, friend. You are getting copied like this. Now, this will probably create some issues uh, when I try to put a uh, top cover on, which would be like so. Yeah, this will create some problems. Here's what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put the top cover on starting like this, so these pieces connect for now, and then we'll get working on a half, uh, or half slab, and that should be good enough. Okay, so let's take you, move you here, and then turn you into an alloy plate. Okay, so I need that to change. That's probably the one which needs to be 0.25. Alright. Copy you. Delete you. Get rid of the mirror. Actually, you know what? This might be actually... Can I get away with the mirror on this? Let's see. Yes, I can. 
Uh, it's a little, a little far out, a little far out. Um, should be at, at point five, not point seven. But you know, can copy this, paste it over here, and now just be like, oh hey, let's get this all filled in. I don't care too much about the corners. It's not going to look bad at distance. Uh, the only... I might want to change... I probably want one more window in here, thinking about it now. So what I'm going to do is... Instead of having, you know, this on the outside, I am going to move it into the... I'm going to move it into the inside here. And we take a window, do that, do that, do that, put a window there, put a window there, and then take our prefab and put it here. I think that'll just naturally look a little better. Uh, I need to go back to the metal. And then we'd actually have it supported like this, probably. Um, of course, supporting it like this also means some issues in regards to the this right here. Let's do that. That'll support it. Um, so, unfortunately, I would have to delete this alloy pole 2 meters and swap it out for an alloy pole 1 meter, but it's going to immediately cause connection issues. So, I've got to get clever with this. So, we're doing this. Now I can delete it. Now I can place this in. Now I can switch this to a pole. And now I can get rid of these. There we go. And, of course, you know, we'll get more mast on top of this. You know, that's our little spotting box right now. And I probably want something below it. On a Hawkins class cruiser, these were quite a bit higher. Um, I mean, normally you get a searchlight platform directly below this, so we can, we can stick that in. be about here. Uh, I'm gonna need this to be taller, aren't I? Yeah, this isn't high enough up. Alright then. Time to fix this all. Alright, so length. That. Height. That. Width. Five should suffice. Now we got the whole box. Now we take the box off. Take away that pole. Switch it to a 4 meter pole. That should give me just the extra height I need. Put that back on and now we've got to go ahead and adjust our... Well, okay, I was going to say put that back on and adjust those, but um, now, now we have it on properly. Okay, now we got to adjust the other parts of the tripod. So hello, other parts of the tripod. Uh, your forward backward scaling has to be increased. Probably like five three. I'll do five four. Uh, five four. Yeah, will work. And then our yaw is. Hold on. Thirty one degrees for the yaw. Our pitch will roll back from seventy. Or roll forward, I should say. 72. Okay, take this. Control C it. Control V it. Change that to a negative 31, and we should be good. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, I think I am going to need to fix parts of this, so... Okay, where do I want the searchlight platform? That's what I need to know first. Okay, so if it's... I think we're going to build it here. So I'm going to do that. I'll get rid of this, normally. Swap it out for a 1 meter pole here. Followed up with a block here, with a 2 meter pole here. Which one I can get, ri get rid of this. Right, so... 
platform is going to be held out to the sides. We should just grab the platform from Alberta. You don't know how tempting that is right now. Hey, Alberta, I'm going to steal your searchlight platform. I hope you're okay with that. It's my ship. Why? It's, I'm not stealing anything. This is fine. Oh, rotate around. Height. Decrease to maybe five. Um, move it one block down. Should be good. Alright, so get rid of you. And then honestly, take our prefab. Actually, hold on, I gotta get rid of this section too. Take our prefab. Stick it in here. I believe this will work, right? Perfect. Get rid of you. Yeah, look at that, we got a searchlight platform in just like that. Thank you, Alberta, for lending yours. Alright, so now that we have the searchlight platform in, I think I actually want to build, like, one... Well, okay, we're going to actually put our uh, fire control up here. I know that much. But I think I want one more platform somewhere down here. Although, let, you know what, let's get the fire control in. So, with fire control... Another piece i got to grab from Alberta. Actually, Alberta's main fire controls are there and here, and I think it's this one I want to grab the piece from. And it's here, correct? There and there, yes. Right there. That's what I want to grab. Okay, so the fire control should probably be a little... F ah, maybe here. I will have it centrally mounted. Screw it. And th these are painted correctly. I believe, right? Yes. Yeah, they are. Alright, so... Sub-objects mode. Uh, fire control. I mean, you would need a radar as well. Which is another issue. Oh, where are they on the county? I look at a county class cruiser. Eh, they add them up more in the tower area. So I'll probably actually need not this, but um, radar up here. And we'll do that in the future. Actually, we probably do that now. It wouldn't be hard. All I need to do is that, and then... So, okay, so that's British Columbia's radar, which you could put on. Probably don't want to. I probably want to put... Uh, maybe her radar. That would be... It's not the Cote St. Luke radar. Oh, I'm not in my Canada thing here. I should be here. I think it's this one. There you go, I like that radar set. That'll work, that's a good radar location. Oh, I see something I forgot to copy. Hello, forward piece. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta build... Probably some additional bit of structure um, kind of going up here. And then use this additional bit of structure for a uh, fire control system. Which will be interesting, to say the least. So I'm going to start, I'm going to actually start with poles. Fire wants to go there, and then I'm like, well, we're blocking the staircase. So we could go inwards more like this. Maybe four meter poles. Like 
So we could either, we could either have them there or we could have them there. But I think having them inwards going to be a little better. Or alternatively, part of me is like, we need them here, but it's like, no, that won't copy over. So I think that's the only place I can get away with those at. Okay, so I am going to change one of these alloy plates to this, wherever I can get away with it, which is probably here. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we'll have a platform here of some sort. And then probably put the fire control on it. My current thinking. We'll actually extend it out a little bit more here-ish. So we can have something else mounted on it. Okay, you know what? It can cause issues again, so let's do this. Now we get rid of it. Hey, that's a one meter right there. There we go. That actually is going to work really well. Or look really good, I should say. Uh, part of me is like, do I stick with this or do I bring it one back? Shit, no. Go back in. Okay, so then we do something like this. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Don't comment on what that looks like. Do not comment on the shape I just made. Because we'd probably have an additional set of poles kind of going up through here. Part of me wants to do this, and part of me is like, that's conflicting with the tripod mass a little too much. So I'll figure out some sort of support system for the back portion of that. Here in a moment. Hmm. So, I could just jam the fire control on it, but probably don't want to just jam the fire control on it, but I kind of need to. Okay, fine, let's do it. Actually, you know what? Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Hello, Alberta. Your fire control is elevated, like this. Your forward one is. This will be the one I use. Okay. All right, I've got this fire control now. That didn't work. All right, now it should work, right? Yes. There's also another thought, and that's don't do this. We uh, delete all untethered. And then instead of doing what I just did, we uh, take this and put it here.
And now... Okay, so the decoration's actually down here. I'm gonna move its tether point upwards. And I'm gonna reduce its uh, forward backward scaling to zero and its up down positioning to zero. And we're just gonna real quickly make sure that these are zero and not some weird glitchy computer number. Now we go into AI and we add a bit of a wireless receiver to this. Now we go into sub objects mode and we add our director in. So I'll take the main director for British Columbia. I'll just be using our big, nice big director here. This is thing that'll still work. All right, so now what we do is we take some alloy plates and start building them up like this. And now I need to grab some of the uh, angled bits again. Technically these things, but you know, I just need to go here and grab them. Which, thankfully, they are on the back of the superstructure here. So that makes that easy. Alright, actually we need 3 meter ones. These are 2 meters. So, hello there. Up down scaling should be 3. Left right positioning should be 1. Uh, probably 0.95 actually. I'll do 0.98 see if that fixes it. How does that look? Let's try 9.5 again. 9.5 is a little too far. Are we... I see why we're a little too far to the side. I may need to do this instead. Get rid of you. We got a 1 there. That's fine. All right, now we place another one in, in there. So, you know, this does very much resemble the uh, superstructure of the original ship, but like it would be when modernized. Like, before this fire control platform, it would look exactly, well, maybe not exactly, but almost exactly like the one in the uh, photo you guys see. Hello there, St. Lawrence. Give me your uh, two meter slope again. I need to have some of these parts saved at some point. But although, honestly, I probably want to adjust the two meter slope so it's mirrorable. Because currently it does not seem to be, just given how I've made it. That'll work better, I think. Actually, you know what? For the side ones, what I'll probably do is I'll probably do this. Honestly, might give it an additional... Well, okay, let's see. What I need to do is... Where am I stuck? I'm stuck down here. Crap. Uh, hello there, Montreal. I'm warping again under your deck. Okay, so now I need to jump up here, and I need to control this. So, if we are to build a little building up here, that's as far back, you know, that's as far forward as it can reach. We don't want it to f interfere with the, that. But I probably do want to get, like, a little shed done. So, what we could do is we could use these pieces. 
At least for the forward portion of the shed. I mean, technically, I'd probably actually have the window, like, here. Yeah, okay, that is about as far forward as I can construct it, unfortunately. Although I might get rid of the windows. I will. And then ultimately we'll just have a little bit of a... Uh, like this going. Maybe I'll do this. Something a little simple. I'm going to have to delete this piece again, aren't I? Crap. Alright, so I'll place this in. Goodbye, you. Get swapped out for a 2 meter. Put a 1 meter pole in here. Uh, give me a couple, actually just a couple 3 meter beams inside of here. And then we can always make this just a little, you know, platform. Which I don't need these back pieces anymore, do I? I can get rid of you now, successfully, and then just replace you with another beam. And you guys can probably get rid of and replace with, you know, these doors. And just put that on top. You know, use full blocks up there while I can. I'm gonna do something like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take this. Normally I duplicate them to be like that. However, I want alloy plates. Uh, keep that at 1. Keep the up-down, or move the up-down positioning to 0.5. Just take that, copy it, paste it, paste it. Now take this, rotate it to the side. Up-down position should be 0. Left right scaling will be 0.5, left right positioning will be 2.5. Take that, copy it, paste it here, uh, swap the, that direction, and that's good. Alright, so now that little bit of uh, superstructure is done. Okay. I think it's going to be smart of me to build up the superstructure around here, which might involve deleting these pieces and turning it more, say, into a building, giving it a moment to just uh, quickly look over. I probably don't want to do that like this far out forward. Actually, you know, I might be able to just get away with that right there. Uh, I will do beam slopes, but only do them there. And actually, if I'm doing this, I really don't want any part of this to be, uh, flat. 
so I'll put this in. Get a nice three meter beam. A little additional part there, and then put, give me a sloped alloy plate in there. We are probably going to need some form of a ladder to get up here, though. And yeah, this isn't looking too bad. It's another one, kind of one of these built, you know, built up over time sort of superstructures. A little tall. Um, I'm probably going to have to put some stuff to the side of it just to make it look a little better. But I can do that. I can do additional supporting to the side of it, you know. It's kind of what uh, Alberta's superstructure looks like. Damn, though, I like Alberta. Alberta's a good-looking ship at this point. I went hard on this. Oh yeah, best part about Alberta? Her crane's turn. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn her aft crane here because I can. I don't know. I just really like that. Actually, all the cranes in Saint Lawrence turn as well too. Like all my crane, like you can't lower and raise them, but you can turn them. These ones are turnable. Saint Lawrence's crane here is turnable. These two uh, aircraft cranes are turnable. I'll probably have to develop different models, though. Or, not, like, slightly different angles if I actually want to get, like, a photograph of it picking up an aircraft or something. But, you know, the aircraft aren't even done yet. So. Uh, the aircraft aren't even started yet, I should say. Okay, so. Now we're getting a little bit of a superstructure back here. Part of me wants to do this, just close it off back there. And I think I will, eh, I should bring it back one more block, I think. To at least here. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a beam slope. And then kind of have like, a sharper line sort of thing going on. I think that'll look good. get a couple of doors in. Maybe a door over here so we can real quickly get guys to bridge if we or to the bridge if we need to. Hypothetically, you know, if this was actually a functional warship. All right. There's a good portion of the forward superstructure done, but we still need to work on it. Still needs a lot of improvements. So let's look at the uh, secondary and anti-aircraft armament. So, no torpedoes, as far as I'm aware. It does have eight dual-purpose uh, secondary guns and twin mounts. I can carry one extra aircraft, and it's anti-aircraft fact. Or, no, no, the number of anti-aircraft uh, guns it has, it has uh, 8 light anti-aircraft guns, 18 medium, and 2 anti-aircraft directors. So, I mean, we could literally just put, like, two sets of the octuple pom-poms on it, then a set of bofers, and it would have its medium anti-aircraft uh, gun complement. So I might switch to fully bofers just so I can get a little bit more out of that, you know. Four quads and a double somewhere would probably look a little better than, you know, two octuple pom-poms. And the uh, two anti-aircraft directors, we'll probably put them more midships, like here-ish. Uh, the four-inch guns, I can choose where to put them, and I need aviation facilities above this turret. Wait, technically it's a W turret? If it's a W turret, then here's what I should do. I should build a little bit of a superstructure back here. That's what I should do. I'm drawing, I actually had the apt superstructure about here, thinking that this was an X turret, but it's actually a W. What the hell? I didn't even realize that this was a W turret. 
How poorly was the ship designed? So there's got to be some reason it can't, you know, shoot back here. And that's what I'm going to put in. Oh, maybe later. I don't know specifically what'll go there, but something will go there. Something will definitely go there. So that it doesn't have that, uh, aft firing arc. Okay. I'm just trying to think. What do I... What else do I need to do with this structure here? Here's what I need to do. She... I'm gonna grab these, but I'm not gonna put pom-poms on them. I'll just put bofers. I should grab... I should grab these mounts, though. With... Length. I think this'll work if I grab this. And then... No, normally I'd probably want them, like, in an, an extra block out. Yeah, I probably want them, like, you know, I'm probably going to do this and then put them on. Now, this one's going to be a little misplaced, so I want to adjust its positioning the other way. The question is, does that offer me the room I need to get a gun on here? Probably not. Actually... Probably, do we need the full rotation? Let's check. So we're going with a, uh, what is it? Simple weapon. Uh, quad 40 mils. We're going with quad 40s here. Hell yeah, I do need, uh, more room. Alright, goodbye to that. Uh, let's place two of them now. And now do this. That's how far out it would need to be. I'm thinking what we do instead is we drop it down to maybe here. Okay, that doesn't look too bad when, you know, at an actually decent angle. Okay, come on. Where is that? There we go. I need to go back over to Alberta, and I need to grab wherever this additional piece here is. Here. Hello, additional piece. Got it. All right, so you need to be of left-right positioning negative two, and you are currently the wrong color. That's the color at uh, some of Coat St. Luke's stuff at. Okay, so eventually we will better support these, but I think that is a good location for anti-aircraft mounts, at the very least. I'm actually probably gonna. What did we? I'm probably going to swap these out for 4 meter alloy beams, just they're a little bit more visible right there. Okay, you know what? Color 8, let's change you to more of a blue. Or gray. There we go, that's kind of matching the color of boat. And now we go back to simple weapons, and we grab quad 40s, and we stick our quad 40s in. So we actually have our first of our 18 medium anti-aircraft guns. That would be the first set of eight. Right there on the boat. <sighs> All right. AI. I want to get a telescope gimbal tracker. 
I'll set up like the proper um, AI tracking stuff later. But for now, you know, I just want to get some basic uh, decal looking tracking stuff. Which probably is not the most uh, functional. Alright, so let's get a couple of these guys in there. Possible, can we put them here too? Not quite. I'm gonna have to remove that block, put that in, do that. That'll work. So as much as that'll work, I probably do need some sort of access here, which will probably be done on a ladder. Let's be real. Move the alloy plate out over here. I'm not going to have a ladder to reach uh, the next couple of sections, though. At least I'm not going to visually show that. I guess it'll just mentally be there. And I imagine that this, there's an internal staircase in here, so we don't need an external staircase to reach this portion of the ship. Or, you know... I mean, it would probably be good to get some external staircases going up here, though. Just figuring out the best way to do or to do it, which is the challenge. So let's remove these to start with, and then okay. So obviously this way, you know, we'd want to climb out of here somehow. Don't think a stair there would be useful. I think we'd have to put them here. Uh wouldn't look great going in there, but. Oh, wait, hold on. I need this color. Wouldn't look great going in there, but it should work. Switch to uh, color 4, because I want to add these stairs in. Yeah, it's not going to look great, because it's clipping through the other thing, but who cares? You know, we mentally know that they're there. And then we do have to climb up on this section, so I'm thinking of just doing something like this. And actually, I'm thinking about adjusting this section now so that we get doors in about here. And then we get some nice lightweight alloy blocks in here. Okay, I think that looks fine. point we put a set of these guys on top. Actually, I need to grab another piece. Um, I would normally... You know what? I'm just going to create it. I'm going to create it. I'm going to create it using a Mimic. So, uh, hello there, Mimic. Alloy plate. Uh, not left-right scaling. Forward-backward scaling should be two. Forward backward positioning should be there. Copy you and paste you in there. And then that's a mimic I can grab in the future and just know that it's going to work. Because um, I know I've had problems with the mimic uh, identically matching that piece in the past. So, you know, knowing that I have one which works for a mirroring is going to be good. Well, let's. Hmm. I kind of want to do, like, a bit of a platform out here. Okay, so we can do this. Uh, let's get the searchlight prefab again. Actually, I think that was what was on there, but who cares? Because I hadn't. I thought I used the prefab on the mimic, but no, I hadn't. All right. So there we go. With that, we got that next section in. Okay.
Let's get a uh, nice staircase going up here. Then maybe some of this going on. That should work, and there's not a lot of clipping there, not a lot of noticeable clipping at the very least. Okay, now our superstructure is going a bit out to the side. That's good. That's what I want. And if we look at some of these cruisers, it does actually look like they tend to put something here. I think it might not be the greatest idea to put something here, just simply down to uh, how our firing angles would be. Though it might not be that bad of an idea, really thinking about it. Hmm. Do you want more structure out here or not? Probably do. Should probably have to get me to rethink this significantly. If we could do that. So if I do this, then I need to grab these pieces right here. And we need one there. Okay, we're going to need one there. Um, probably need one there. Then it would be shaped like that. And I think at this point I wouldn't go in another block forward. That probably looks better. There we go. And our turret traverse should still be fine, and I think, yeah, that is just going to look a bit better. So we need supports for these sections now, and the easiest way to get supports is to just grab them straight off of Alberta. Hello there, support. Okay. So we can put a couple of supports in. Hmm. This is this one's a little tougher. Okay, that one's actually legitimately like a bitch. Put one in there, put one in there. Actually, you know what, this one... We need that. Okay, so this one's also supporting that uh, next bit of structure. So I will place another set here. I'm going to do a bit of a move. Actually, no, I'll move them 0.5. That'll work a little better. And then take you... Actually, no, here's what we do, is we take this, and we put one here. Now, that's uh, that whole platform is all nicely supported. And I'll be able to get fences on that and make the whole thing look a lot nicer, too. And then we got this little bit here with the gun. Alright, we also have a empty spot below it down here. Honestly, I might try to make more use of this. Okay, so... What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to extend it outward. And then do that so we have a couple of doors going into and out of it. 
And actually, I'll put a side or a side door on here. Okay, so let's, uh, I mean, this is supported on poles on Alberta, so I might try to support it on poles on, uh, Montreal as well. Okay, so like this. Actually, you know what? Let's do two poles. Let's do two poles like here and here, just supporting this. Here's what I'll do. Get some nice triangles going. Actually, you know what? Let's just do triangle rights. Because that'll look even. Yeah, that'll look even. Alright, so now that we have that in place... I think I want to... A little bit of messing around back here. I'll just make it kind of a square box back here, like that. All right, yeah, that's not looking bad so far. And we got the funnel. We can probably build up a little bit around the funnels too. Ah, uh, how long have I been going? It's one nineteen a.m. I have a little bit. Yeah, I should probably go a little longer. I'm happy with how this is. I'm happy with how this is turning out so far. I feel like I'm getting uh, much better at ship construction than e than I was even with uh, Saint Lawrence over here. Right, give me this mimic. They're connected up there, good. And I probably want to see if I can stick one in, like, here-ish. Okay, so I need them to be 0 0.4 up. I think that'll work. Uh, almost worked. 0 0.5 up. Hey, I said 5 up. Ha ha ha. No. I actually like his Among Us content. Okay, uh, let's do... Let's put a good one in here. Or that good one. Uh, a couple, good couple of those in there. Do something like this. Get a little bit of extra support. Going in for that uh, section. And I think I'm going to leave the forward superstructure for now. And try to work on other bits. So we got the funnels, which still need some work. Still need a significant amount of work. Um, we actually still need to get a extra bit of mast uh, back here. And the other thought is that we start working on an aft superstructure. So, if you see in the diagram, she had an aft superstructure just behind the X turret. However, I've now discovered that this X turret is in fact a W turret, not a proper X turret. And as such, she has to have something at the very minimum here. So I'm going to model that in. I'm actually going to model, you know, something extra back here.
a little extra platform, maybe like an anti-aircraft platform or something. However, her aft, uh, what is it? Her aft fire control will be over here. Can I get away with this? I need to make sure I can get away with this and the turret can still traverse. Me just being like, okay, let's just make sure that our turret traverse still works. Okay, our turret traverse works fine. It's allowable to get that close to the turret. Alright, so I'm going to do this, then this, okay, so we're going to have this kind of odd shape, or, you know what, maybe we won't have this odd shape, maybe the odd shape we'll have will be more this, and then we'll, we'll uh, put a couple things for, uh, or put a couple of these bofer mounts on there. Maybe the smaller version for the twin bofers. I think I'll go with the smaller version for a twin bofer. Uh, let me grab the bit I have for the twin bofer, which is here. Actually, let's adjust this so that it mirrors properly. So I don't want left-right positioning. I actually want forward-backward positioning. And then that will now mirror properly. Okay, so we've got this little section here. Um, okay, prefab mode. Okay, so I've got those on. I'll just place them over here down to the side for now. And then what I need to do is I need to go to prefab, load up our one meter, no, one meter alloy wood slope. Yes. Put these in. Rotate them around. Put them in. Put them like that. Put that there. Actually, you know what? Let's just make this look a little better. Let's swap these around. But I do need a staircase going up here. I could do it on the outside or I could do it on the inside. I'll do it on the outside. Screw it. Like so. Okay, so those will be the mounts uh, for the twin bofers. At which point we are going with more twin bofers because what that would that one puts us at eight. If we got another set of eight, that would put us at sixteen, and then this would bring us to twenty. So we're, I guess at this point we're going with uh, these two sets and another two sets of twin bofers and another single set of twin bofers somewhere. Because I am s guessing that the number of, uh, what is it, the number of anti-aircraft guns in the game is actually referring to the number of barrels rather than some value. It's probably referring to some value, but it's easy to just have a uh, standard metric you stand by. All right, so what I want here is our uh, anti-aircraft director. Not director. Um, oh, God, I'm going to actually have to go. going to have to go here. I think. Am I? I might actually be in Canada. Hold on. Okay, director. Where is it? There's something I'm looking for and I'm not finding it here. Oh, because I'm looking at sub objects like an idiot.
All right, so we're looking not for AA director. Is that it? That's it. No, that's not it. Uh, AA gun control. That's what we're looking at. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to take this here, do this with it. Uh, alloy pole, one meter, and that's an oof, certainly an oof. Uh, pitch, forward backward positioning, one. Uh, one of these two is not, okay, you need to be scaled to five. I think forward and backward need to be scaled to one. Yes, there we go. Control C that, control V it there. Paint it in three rather than five. Put that back in. Turn that into a beam so that we're not having as weird of an issue. I'm just gonna repaint this whole thing in alloy at this point. No wood even on deck here. Or no wood up here even. Uh because I think that's just gonna look better. I go out that far. Okay, so now we go... Okay, I need to get a way up here. I need to build a way up here. So, I'm going to start by doing this sort of thing. But I think here I want to do this. Because I probably don't want this to be a ladder. You know, that's going a little too far out. Okay, so this is where some design decisions uh, need to come into play. I think we can actually get by with the staircase in here. Because if we do this... Yeah, okay, we're just in front of the gun still. So we're fine. Barely fine, but we're fine. Actually, are we fine? Ooh, the guns might just clip that. I think they would. Crap. Alright, we can come up with a clever solution here. And that is called... Let's just build this over an extra, like, two blocks further. That would come up more towards the gun mount area. And now if we go to the turret itself and rotate it, my question is, does it... Does it ever wind up... I don't think it does. I don't think it actually winds up touching the gun. I think it just rotates enough... Not the gun, the staircase. I think it just rotates enough that it doesn't. It is a little awkward looking because those are full circles, but who cares. Ooh, can I get away with that? And rotate the turret still. Yes, I can. Which means I'm going to, because this will look even nicer. Okay, so I would probably want to put in some AA guns up here. Okay, so let's give it some simple weapons. So these are for the twin, for the twin 20s. And then we're probably going to have a couple of uh, 50s back here too. 
And which I, I mean, actually, no, twin forties and a couple of fifties, uh, which I'm imagining are actually twenties. All right, there we go. We got a little aft platform done, which uh, does explain why the ship does or cannot uh, super fire uh, to the rear. Actually, let's, uh, we do need to get some additional support here, so let's do that real quickly. Okay, so we're doing that, we want these in. Okay, and there's our additional support. That works. I think that looks good. All right, what time is it? It is, I've been live streaming almost two hours. I think that's a good enough uh, episode length. So I'll try to next time complete the ship. I'm a little just too tired tonight. Um, but I think I've got enough uh, length going on. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And we'll be trying to get the previous episode up onto YouTube, uh, hopefully very shortly. And yeah. Um, I need to do my outro and I'm, so tired I'm getting out to do it come on I'm trying to give you guys a clear look at the ship before I leave as it stands and I should you know I'll keep a little thing in the top corner because you can you know roughly see what it looks like uh yeah anyway thank you everyone for watching and thank you uh Tebitmo for following and uh yeah that's been the stream if you like what you saw I've got a discord a twitter and a youtube I tend to upload all these live streams to youtube after the fact so you can watch them there twitter exists I do not recommend you go to it I mostly just get on uh or into internet arguments so far so it's not great and discord is where you can hang out if you want notifications on the live streams and all that sort of stuff I really need a command in chat but uh, if you can actually scroll down to the uh like actual description or all the other stuff I have I do have an image you can click on and that'll you know take you to my discord uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube after the fact of course the discord and uh, or the discord and Twitter links will be down in the description below uh, however instead of a YouTube link which would be redundant you will have a twitch link instead which is where you can watch all these live streams when they you know originally get live streamed so with that, uh, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you guys next time, and hopefully like tomorrow or the next day or something, with some uh, War on the Sea. So yeah, uh, bye! Man, I've held that for much longer before. Alright, bye!